Ta -da! Hey, um, a few days ago, um, I saw this ad of um, Kappa Coffee. So they have this really beautiful ad about their um, gooseneck kettle. So, and I've always wondered um, if I can work with them. And I didn't have the courage to ask them to if I can borrow something. So I finally have the courage to ask them. And so I messaged them. Um, I told them, um, would you be open to um, lending me the gooseneck kettle because I really want to try it. And I really want to get the chance to try it. And I'm really curious how it's going to perform because I always bring cheaper, more affordable uh, alternatives to expensive brands, right? So this is going to be our very first um, review of a kettle. So today we are opening the Kappa CWK100 Variable Temperature Gooseneck Kettle. Right. Ooh. Actually, I was really surprised that they agreed to do this project. Um, I just, I just mustered up my courage and messaged them on email, like a proper proposal letter, and also on Facebook, I think, or Instagram. And then I told them that I want to work with them. I want to borrow the gooseneck kettle for me to review. Actually, they, they immediately replied. When I woke up this morning, they asked me about my details so they can send the the kettle. I'm really excited to open it. Mm. Okay, so you have a warranty card. That's nice. And then you have a user manual. And here is your base. Alright, and here is the kettle. And immediately, Immediately, I am looking at the spout and it looks like a very nice looking spout. Okay, this could be, um, this could be a problem with their storage, but the, the cover is very, um, very dirty. Could be an isolated incident, but that's not an issue. And I want to put the base here. Yes. The spout is actually small. It seems like... Oh, and by the way, this is a one liter kettle. All right. I want to measure the I want to measure the opening of the spout but it looks really small. Why am I making a big um, issue about the um, the spout? Because the smaller the spout, the easier for you to um, regulate the flow rate. So if it's really big, it's going to be very hard to regulate it to pour slower. Um, but with this size We have 6.8. Let me check the brewista. The brewista is 6.3. Oh no, 6.2. The kappa, the kappa spout is exactly like the brewista. Yeah, they're both 6.3. So I'm guessing we're gonna have a really nice, um, really nice pouring experience with the Kappa kettle. Immediately, I am thinking of different ways to um, to test this because again, this is going to be the first time for us to review a kettle. The base is really nice. It is covered with stainless too. 
and then the buttons are physical so you it's, it's very simple you only have power keep warm and then the temperature let's plug this in so we can um, try okay I, I filled it up to more than more than half and then we can power it on the default temperature was 100 degrees Celsius Oh, and the display um, gives you the current temperature, which is, right now it is 30. There's, there's a bit of a noise um, with the kappa kettle. But I think it's really fast. I think it's heating up really fast. Um, of course, I don't know how to measure the amount of uh, amount of electricity that is powering the kettle right now, but I imagine. Uh, but I'm guessing I filled it up with more than 500 ml of water, maybe around 600 ml, and it's it's going really fast. Again, the display is very simple. The buttons are very simple. You just need to press the temperature and then keep warm or not. And then power and that's it. It's very simple. Wow, and it's actually really fast. Yeah, we got to our target temperature at 1 minute and 53 seconds. Not bad. I don't know if it's actually going to um, maintain the temperature of this. But I want to try if I can pour very slow on this. Because again, I'm actually, I'm really excited with the spout. So I really want to try it. The maximum is around 25 also, just like the Brewista. And then the minimum I can do is... Around 1.7, 1.82. Wow, this is actually amazing. I'm really amazed. I'm really surprised. Something that I want to improve on is the handle. Um, well, I have big hands, but I have short fingers. So the handle is a bit um, chunky, but it, that, but it has a nice grip. So my, 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 my problem with it, it was on, it was personal <laughs> because I have short fingers, but if you have long fingers, I'm guessing this is really nice to hold on to because it's very chunky. You can actually really pour very low on this. I want to try if I can, um, Oh, yes, you can get very close to your um, coffee bed with this. And it automatically heats up your water again when you put it back since you have the keep warm option turned on. So, yeah, I want to see if we have any other um, buttons here. Okay, there's nothing else. Um, I also like the fact that the, the power is not removable because 
I've lost my Broista power cord maybe a couple of times now or left it somewhere because I had to take it out. But this kettle, the kappa, um, the, the power cord is attached to it. You, can, you cannot take it out. But yeah, I'm, I'm, liking this, I'm liking this kettle a lot. And it pours the same way as the Bruista. But they have a very different um, spout profile. So um, we're gonna do that uh, test in the future. We're gonna do that side-by-side -side comparison with the Bruista. But right now, we're, we're, simply, we're simply gonna test it. So it's really, it heats up really fast. It, it automatically um, heats up your water after, after losing its temperature. And the spout is the big winning point with this kettle because most one liter kettles um, they have a bigger spout than this right so the kappa actually i think they they really know what they're doing because this is a one liter uh kettle so this actually i think this is actually made for um third wave coffee shops so you have a big capacity yet you have a very small spout which um which enables you to brew better and the design is very simple yeah um, it actually saves space because the base is really small and it's rectangular and keeps keeps within the bounds of the whole kettle itself so you can actually put another kettle side by side and it's not gonna take up um, a lot of space the Kapo brand is actually a Philippine brand. It is a local brand here in the Philippines. And I'm really impressed with what they are trying to do. So the kettle, as I've said, um, right off the bat, when I saw the spout, I'm really interested with it because I know that the spout, the size of the spout is going to be a really big asset for this kettle. And at the same time, you have one liter capacity with a very small base. So imagine we have our very own brand of kettle and it's actually quite great. So I'm really, I really want to, um, I actually really want to promote this. Um, so the Kappa CWK100 is um, retails for only 3,799. Okay, you can get it from their Shopee account. You can go to Shopee and then search for kappa and then you will see the kettle there yeah i think i think this is a really nice um kettle to start with actually this is not a starting kettle because it's it's a really nice kettle yeah i really like it even even this part i really like this part because it's because of the simple fact that it locks yeah, and the base works really well. And it's very simple. It's silver and black. That's it. So in the next couple of videos, we're going to do a comparison of the Kappa Kettle versus the Bruista Kettle. And then we'll see if the Kappa Kettle can actually compete side by side with the Bruista. Right? So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!